Good morning, this is Shelby Law with the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Tuesday, August 18th. The fire potential impacts for the next few days are going to occur on Friday with gusty west winds across much of Idaho and an increase in some lightning activity over northern and central Utah, especially over the mountains. We had mostly sunny skies across the region yesterday for no lightning and no precipitation. Precipitation percent of average for the last two weeks is shown here for the whole western U.S. I just wanted to point out how dry certain areas of the West have been, particularly eastern Washington and northern Oregon, and then much of California. The Great Basin did see some good wetting storms uh, over a week ago, but it has been dry since then. This morning's water vapor imagery shows that low that brought a cold front into Idaho yesterday and into Utah today. That low is moving off to the east, but we'll see northwest flow across much of the Great Basin for the day. Fire potential remains high across Idaho and Nevada today with the hot and dry conditions in Nevada and the ongoing dry conditions in Idaho. Temperatures are slightly cooler across the north in the wake of yesterday's cool front and those cool temperatures have moved into northern and central Utah today, but western and southern Nevada still remain very hot. Some gusty winds are expected in western Wyoming and across most of central and eastern Utah today as that cold front moves through the region. On Wednesday, that dry west to northwesterly flow continues across the region. Temperatures will be gradually warming across Utah and Idaho and remain hot in Nevada. Relative humidities are quite low region-wide, but particularly over Nevada where they've been in the single digits for the last week or so. More westerly flow is expected on Thursday, although we will see a little bit of moisture moving into southern Utah on Thursday. Not sure yet if this is going to result in any thunderstorm activity or just a little bit of increase in cloud cover. Things should remain dry across the north and west. Temperatures will continue to gradually warm on Thursday over Idaho and Utah and remain quite warm over Nevada. Some of that dry air from Nevada will begin to make its way into western Utah. On Friday, a trough drops into the Pacific Northwest and northern Rockies, which will increase westerly flow across Idaho. We could see some good gusts on Friday, and so we're highlighting that day on the 7-day significant fire potential product. The bulk of the moisture and precipitation is going to stay north and east of the Great Basin, so we're just looking for a dry cold front to move into Idaho. At the same time on Friday, some moisture will continue to stream northward into Utah, and we expect to see an increase in some thunderstorm activity, mainly across the northern and central Utah mountains on Friday. Friday's weather pattern is short-lived and by Saturday a return of dry west to northwest flow comes to the Great Basin. Much of the same is expected on Sunday as temperatures gradually increase under a warm and dry pattern. Sunny and warm conditions will continue into Monday although we'll begin to see some moisture moving into the far southern tip of the Great Basin and this moisture looks to move northward on Tuesday. There's virtually no precipitation expected across the forecast area through next Sunday. The exception to this might be on Friday afternoon with some of that moisture moving into the higher elevations of northern and central Utah. Fire danger is on the rise region-wide with the dry air mass in place. The extended forecast for the last week in August is calling for below normal temperatures and above normal precipitation for the Great Basin. This above normal precipitation trend is a deviation from what we've been seeing, so we'll see if that remains in the forecast. This concludes today's fire potential briefing. Please check back tomorrow for the latest updates.